The family of a Benton Harbor man pulled from the St. Joseph River Friday afternoon said his suicide was not a complete shock. Good evening, I'm Maureen McFadden. And I'm Terry McFadden. It's a story you'll only see on News Center 16. Devon Johnson's mother sat down to talk about his long battle with depression. Trisha Hart joins us in the studio with the story. Trish? Well, Terry, Devon Johnson, affectionately referred to as Tay by his family, was 35 years old when he took his own life last week. After talking to that family, one thing is clear. Tay was a high-achieving high schooler whose severe depression slowly chipped away at him over the years. I just wanted people to know he was just some lost soul refugee, you know. Old photos, captured and now saved. He was a good person. Are the memories Connie Johnson clings to. He was at art club at Coloma. A class clown sometimes. But that youthful energy drained over the years. <sighs> Lost the look in his eyes. Johnson's oldest son, Devon, was diagnosed with severe depression in his late teens. As he grew into an adult, it consumed him. Because I knew he was sick. I would say, Tay, do you know I love you? Do you understand that I love you? He would say, yeah, Mom. You know, like an eight or nine year old. Friday, Devon's body was found in the St. Joseph River near the very path he and his younger brother walked to feed the birds. His death, officials say, was an apparent suicide by drowning. You know, he was somebody special. He was loved. He left behind a class ring, but cleared out his apartment from clothing and other possessions. <laughs> Man, what they did oh. find was a journal of his depressed thoughts. He never talked about none of this. He didn't know how to, he didn't know how to, he didn't know how to. At the end of the papers, a note Connie says was for her, I love to see you smile. She says she knows her son's at peace. Now, Connie says she hopes her son's death makes people think of the serious nature depression has, especially mental illness, because even though they live so close, he lived in the apartment building just next door, she wasn't sure if he was taking his antidepressants because he was an adult. Those were his responsibilities. So he had been prescribed something. Yeah, for quite some time, he had, since he was in high school, he was on antidepressants. Connie said she talked to him recently, asked him if he was filling those prescriptions. He told her yes, but she said she had a gut feeling that this was something different. It's just so sad. Yes. All right, Trish, thanks.